Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to cover how you can protect the data in your spreadsheet when you have multiple people working in it. So what if I want um, multiple people to collaborate in the document but there's certain things I don't want them to be able to change. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. So right now um, you can see that this document is private, it hasn't been shared to anybody. So in order to collaborate and share with somebody, go up to the top right corner and click share. No different than going to uh, file and hitting share. It's going to launch you into the same menu. Um, just wanted to show you both ways to do that. I'm going to invite my father to this document. Um, and again, I can notify him in an email. Um, I recommend doing that actually, but I'm not because I don't want to bother uh, him at this moment. And I'm going to click OK and invite Edward Nemec. Now, whenever you invite somebody, you can see that it goes from the lock symbol to the person image and say that it is now sharing. I can click on that and go where it says shared with one person and this is where I can change his access to the document, even set an expiration or remove him. Um, I can even transfer ownership if I want to um, and also prevent other things from happening such as changing access or adding new people or not being able to download or copy um, commenters and viewers. So I'm going to click done. Edward's now in the document. Um, now let's say I just want Edward to be able to manipulate um, right here in these columns, the drop down menu. So what I can do is I can left click in A1 and drag all the way down to um, P32. So I've selected all of those uh, cells. I'm going to right click and scroll down to where it says um, protect range. All right, so now I'm going to go protect range. And I'm going to say this is student info. And I'm going to say set permissions. Right now, um, ev anyone who's shared in the document can edit these uh, cells. I'm going to go um, custom and say only me. So only I can now change what's in those cells and hit done. All right, so now let's see what Edward uh, is able to do. So I'm going to drag Edward's screen over um, so you can see it. And I'm logged in as him. I'm going to go to his drive since I didn't send him an email. Um, I'm going to go shared with me. And there's that demo. And now we're in the demo document. So if you will notice, um, he can come over here and change the drop down menu. Um, notice if he tries to type in EX, it won't let him do it. Um, let's try test enter. Um, it violates the data validation rules because if you remember in my previous video, I said that uh, to reject input that doesn't match the list. So he goes, okay. Um, now, but what if he wants to go change the student's name? Nope. He does not have the right to do that. What if he wants to change the grade? He cannot do that. So anything that was highlighted when I set the permission um, in this screen right here. I highlighted A1 to P32. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, right here to P32 down here. He can't um, edit. Um, so I, I hope this is helpful because sometimes when you have a lot of people in a sheet and you want certain data in the sheet or certain things to stay um, set, um, setting a protected range is very helpful. Again, to do a protected range, you simply click on the column or the row or the cell or the group of cells and range of cells and you right click and go um, down to where it says protect range and this is where you name it uh, and you can set permissions. Same thing with list, I could come over to it as well and protect the sheet um, and I can say set permissions and I can go only I can edit or change the sheet and hit done and that sheet is now locked down with a symbol. So this is very helpful if you're working with a large group of people in a data sheet and you want to make sure nothing gets um, out of control and things are totally erased. Thank you so much for watching this short video.